Hello, here's how to quick rig and include another set of joints to make the tie animatable. And a uh, mistake I previously made was to not keep the joints within the mesh. Okay, so here goes. So I've got my mesh selected. I also need um, to include the eye, which is another object in this. I've only got the eye on one side. Okay, so we're in the uh, rigging uh, section here, and we'll go to Quick Rig, and we're going to do it this step by step. So I'll change to that one, and create a new character. So by default, it's called Quick Rig Character. Here are the two objects again. So so far, as same as standard quick rig process without any other added elements uh, so I need some guides and just waiting for the guides to land there we go okay so in a very short time now I'm just going to move the guides using the move tool of course on the one side and I'm going to use the mirror setting to make them mirror on the other side okay, so I, oh, I probably should move the elbow along a bit slightly as well so just get them those ankle joints more where the ankles would be and of course the right height for where the joint occurs and you can see through the mesh where that joint should be and uh, yeah, the elbow's not quite right either so more like that pretty much just kind of further back in the middle and uh, the wrist is fairly it's nicely centered now anyway Okay, so then I select all of the um, guides. Now uh, that's easily do by dragging over them, and then when I go over to here in the quick rig dialog, the left side as we look at it will. Uh, you'd notice this knee joint going down. There we go. So that's mirrored nicely. Okay, so the next thing is let's make the rig. So it's the skeleton of joints and the control rig for the arms and legs. Um, so that's all there. I can see it's there. And if I go to test, say one with one of these ankles, pick that up. It's all there. And it there's the uh, IK working. So as I pull down, it's uh, dragging the whole hips down. Okay, we've not skinned yet, so let's not grab the mesh. So that's to come. But we need to see the whole skeleton and not the IK elements or the uh, FK elements as well, which are kind of standard joints. So the head is an FK. Okay, so I'm going to build in the joints to go up to the tie. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you start from, so whether it joins onto the original skeleton. Uh, but I'm going to go from the um, shoulder joint here. Okay, so we go to joints, create joints. I'm going to do this all in the side view and then the joints will arrive kind of sitting on the tie and the tie goes down the center point in the along the x-axis so clicking in this view means that's where it defaults to being located okay so in my mesh the um, area of the tie outside the knot is actually not sort of attached so as long as I make sure that the um, 
the joint for the tie goes into the knot first and then goes down and uh, along the tie um, should be all good. So you put your first click in to uh, join into the existing skeleton and right about there. I'm thinking now that I might do something, make the tie knot move slightly. Can have a little twizzle. going to zoom in if you use the mesh as a guide you can put the joints um, right on the um, edge loops that you've got kind of built into the mesh that should be good okay now I'm going to be confident and say I've got everything nicely placed straight from the word go so let's go to skin this. So the final stage. Apparently there are five stages. I can only really think of four, but anyway. Oh yeah, I see. So it's where you load up the geometry is a is a stage, and then uh, create update. Okay, and then of course the big test. Okay, um, I've just accidentally added some joints there. Uh, so there's a <laughs> big one shooting out from there, which is looking very uh, unnecessary. So let's delete that one. Okay, and then um, select this, go rotate, and there it goes. Okay, so. Uh, you can you're free to add all sorts of bits into your mesh and the skinning process will skin it automatically for you doesn't mean though you might not have some uh, little bits of attention to put into the uh, uh, process of weight painting of the vertices okay so uh, some bits of the mesh might grab other bits of mesh that you want to do leave out of their influence. Um, I'm just going to undo that last bit of uh, monkeying around I did because um, if you take the tr trouble to select each joint working up so I'm holding shift down to include Okay, so that visually is a very similar result to uh, just clicking on that joint to select it. Um, but I've actually done an include. I've managed to get all of the other ones in. So I go to the uh, rotate icon. And as I use the rotate icon, they are all getting a little bit of that action sort of added into them. So they're kind of inheriting the rotation from their parent and having a little bit of freedom of movement themselves okay so uh, you can see there where the jointing could be a little bit better done uh, to match up to where there's twists in the mesh okay but yeah so um, adding extra bits of uh, joint to go around the base of the jacket is a very real sort of possibility um, and again make the mesh a little bit more complex so that it deforms much more elegantly than that and put enough joints in to take advantage of those uh, um, extra edge loops down, going down the sort of length of the joints okay I hope that uh, works out for you anyway um, take care uh, that's it for now thank you